Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I want to address Wayne Blair's comment that he replied to someone on Facebook. Okay, so what this person has done, they didn't actually make it as a email to me or a text message to me where we could have resolved this in private. They've actually done it as a reply to someone else because to me in psychology, that shows me that Wayne Blair wants to create drama in my personal viewers or subscribers. So I'm going to show you the comment so you all can see. This is from Wayne Blair, Wayne Blair, and it's a reply. So I don't get notified if it's a reply to a comment. I only get notifications if I've got new comments. So did this person know that? And is that why they replied to somebody else and not just coming straight to me? Okay, so I've got their, resp I've got their nine dot points here and I'm going to address it today because I want you guys to know that I'm always transparent and also um, if you do have issues, don't deal with it this way. Come to me privately. My email is on every video I do. It's on my website. I always promote it in my lives. It's there everywhere. I also have my phone number on my website too. So don't deal with things publicly because that's a coward. That's a troll or a stalker. That's somebody who does cyber attacks. Okay, and that can be sued because this person wants to know if I can get sued today. So I can't be sued, but Wayne Blair can be if I feel in my perspective that he is a cyber bully because I couldn't report him for cyber bullying for, for what he said. So number one, let's just go through his nine dot points and I'll address it. So it's a short version. Okay short video. Number one, he says, my stories don't add up in each book. The same stories in each book are different. The reason why, let's just go there. If I say I went to a lady's house, there was a ghost on the front door, she threw a um, pot plant at me. In my, So I put that story into my ghost stories in my ghost book. Ten years later, when I wrote Psychics Explain, I might use that same experience but as a mediumship example, where I say, when I went to the lady's house, I felt the energy of a ghost on her front doorway. See how it's different? But it's relevant to each book. It doesn't mean that the experience didn't occur, but it means that I only say what's relevant to that part of that book topic, okay? Number two, she clearly states that when she was married, she was married when she died, but the emergency report that she shows clearly states she's single. All right, so here is my ambulance report from 2001. Okay, it clearly says she is single. Did I physically tell the ambulance officers that I was single? Let's go there. I was in another room and, oh yeah, that's right, I was dead. So the only person who could have told the ambulances that I was single is my ex-husband. We were married in August 2000. August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, May, April, May. Nine months we'd been married. So why would I tell anybody about his reasons for putting me down as single? Why does somebody need that information? This is sort of eh, 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 creepy stalker type of questioning. So what does this person, Wayne Blair, want to accomplish by asking whether I was married or single? What has that got to do with the fact that I died and I had a near-death experience? Does it matter if I was wearing a wedding ring at the time? Does it matter if I had blonde hair or had my pink undies on? Don't worry about the situation. Look at why I talk about the event that happened from that situation. Okay. So number three, she doesn't tell us why she died because domestic violence is huge everywhere now. I certainly don't want to trigger anyone. I've been through domestic abuse. 
He obviously has just proven that by saying I was single. Why didn't he tell the officers and the sheriff that we were married? Think about it, okay? Think about why he didn't say we were married. He didn't want any association to that. He was trying to say that he wasn't responsible, okay? The sheriff came and saw me in hospital. He said, I want to charge him with attempted murder. And I said, no, I'm going home. So think about why he had to put me down as single, okay? It's not my fault. I was unconscious and dead. I didn't say it. So I don't talk about why I die. It's no one's business why I had domestic violence. I don't want to promote negativity. I will not go there. I only talk about how to get through mental abuse. I only talk about how to get through PTSD that I've got. I only talk about how to be our best versions. I don't talk about what happened in my past because our words create that in our future. Okay? So I hope that clarifies number three. Number four, she states that she had a brain tumor but doesn't explain if that's why she died. What's the relevance there? I died in 2001 and I got diagnosed with the brain tumor 2017. Why is Wayne Blair wanting to know every single thing about my life? I healed my brain tumor. I've got the MRAs. I've shown the MRIs. I've shown the x-rays and I've got a broken neck. Go back and watch my videos and more importantly, read my books, Wayne Blair. So you get your facts right. Because the only person here that's stuffing up this story is you, okay? My integrity is on my name on this channel. So I always am transparent. Number five, she calls herself a doctor, but a doctor of what? She seems to hide her past. Now, this is exact to the word, the same wording that I got a year and a half ago with another stalker. Ha! Huh? Could there be a coincidence, similarity, or is it the same person? You know, the person that I had last year that was attacking me, they had different aliases, and I found some. And other people gave me information about others that they had. So we've already established by the stereotype of this person's character that they are prone to creating false personas false aliases and false usernames on social media and YouTube. So Wayne Blair, is that really your real name? Or are you my creepy stalker from last year? Because it's sounding so much, it's exactly the same wording. She calls herself a doctor, but a doctor of what? I've got a PhD. I don't need to explain. I'm not connected to your hip, Wayne Blair, and I'm certainly not your Siamese twin. What do you need to know this information for? What are you trying to delve into? What are you trying to establish here by being so connected to me? Because ultimately, that's an issue that lies with you. How you deal with that, I can only suggest and the suggestions are all in my videos and books. So again, read my books to learn how to be a better person. Number six says, if she's a healthy woman, why isn't she at work instead of working for free on social media? Wayne Blair, how dare you accuse me of doing anything I do? Who the hell are you to compare, judge and accuse me? That is so negative that you're doing that. You know, it is one of the worst things on the planet that you can actually do. So anyone else watching this, please learn, do not judge. We do not have to judge anyone why they do anything in their life. Now, here's a suggestion. Go to Google. Now, I'm going to do it with you right now. You go to Google. You put in Linda Kramer. So you put in Linda Kramer. Scroll down and scroll down and scroll down and scroll down. Because it's on my front page because I only found it the other day. 
It's still there. Oh, looky. Here it is. It's on the Courier Mail. Police administration officer suing state government after, after seeing gruesome information. You open that up and it clearly says that I have chronic post-traumatic stress disorder. How dare this person say I'm not working? He's, it's almost like in an assumption that he's trying to say I'm a bludger. That's what he's trying to do. And because he made this as a comment to someone else, he wants that other person to read what he wants them to think I am too. See how he's creating this ripple of information? Please don't do this, guys. The worst thing stalkers and trolls do is that they must use other people to make them believe their narrative. Okay? This person could have come to me in a private email and said, Linda, uh, why, do you, why don't you go and get a job? I would have quietly answered it in private with most respect, courtesy, and understanding. But because he's made this as a public comment on someone else's comment as a reply, I should say, that other person is now wondering, yeah, why doesn't she go out and get a job? And I'll tell you, I don't need to explain my PTSD. I don't need to know who I saw, who I do see and who I will see, or if there's any medication or anything involved with that, because that's private information that I don't need to tell anyone about. None of your business is the official answer there. Number seven, if she charges for services, she could be sued. When has a psychic ever been sued? Wayne Blair? If they start suing psychics, they must then come out and say psychic information is real. Huh. And the only reason why they can't do that is because psychic information is so unpredictable it cannot be guaranteed and therefore it cannot be regulated okay no psychic ever has been sued the only reason why psychics do get sued pardon me is if they are spamming people contacting people without their consent pardon me and saying pay me money or else your bad things will happen to you so it's manipulation, sort of blackmail that they do. I don't do that. Do I ever set up a mailing list? I don't even have a mailing list to contact people without their consent. So what again is Wayne Blair on about? Oh my God, Wayne Blair, you have got so many issues. You're sounding like ee, 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 creepy stalker from last year. Number eight, after going through all her inside out balls on the other side, um, she wouldn't um, tell someone that they're a bitch. Actually, Wayne Blair, I am the first one to call out people on their behaviours. How do we know how to get better or how to be our best unless someone says, hey, are you aware that you're doing this? If you've got someone in your family who's a sarcastic little so-and-so, if you don't tell them, hey, are you aware that when you um, are saying things like this, you're actually diminishing people, that you're actually putting them down and you're showing that you're trying to control people? by being sarcastic. So unless you tell them what they're doing, so then they can sort of like cure their condition, hell. So if I see someone that's a real, absolute, disgusting bitch to her husband, of course I'm going to pull out that behavior. And it's obvious that you haven't read my books because in my book, she did not come back to me and tell me. If she was a friend of a friend and my friend told me, that her husband kicked her out after six months. So my, what I told her came true six months later. I said to her, if you don't fix your ways, he's going to kick you out in six months. So he kicked her out. She was living in a welfare unit. She was in a, she was in a um, welfare refuge. So I heard that from my friend who's her friend. So I believe that even if you want to say that's hearsay or gossip. Okay. Number nine, she constantly talks about conspiracy theories that she can't mention on this forum. Of course I can't mention on this forum because or else I'll have community strikes. So therefore I ask people to email me in private where I can share information so it's not disturbing or triggering other people with their own mental health conditions. So um, I love the way he says she loves gossiping, obviously. The only one gossiping here, number nine, point from Wayne Blair. You're the one gossiping 
by commenting on somebody else's comment so then they read your opinion. And that's the version, that's the definition of gossiping. So um, I love it how he says, her message is one of hope, but she lo doesn't follow what she preaches. I always live what I preach, I try. That's why I'm only human, right? But then this guy says, Wayne Blair. He says, maybe the brain tumour has something to do with it. And she's confused. How cruel, how hurtful is Wayne Blair trying to make me feel? Wayne Blair, I hope you address all the hurt and pain that's in your life currently, where you have to try and inflict your pain on others. The person who you replied to, they did not deserve at all what you said to them. And I will pull you out and I will name and shame you because it's all public knowledge now. It was a public comment that I have copied and shared and has given to other people just in case my house burns down next week. So if you are the stalker from last year, a little side note, don't be ever in a position where you think I won't act. I allow people to be who they are. But my stalker from a year ago, he actually nearly had extreme repercussions coming down hard on him. If you continue the behavior where you don't want to contact me in private and you want to throw all this shit out there publicly on Facebook, YouTube, wow, you've got a long way of growing to do. Have a look within yourself as to why you need to create hurt in others. What is hurting you where you have to blame others for what you are? This is how we learn how to be a better person. And I honestly admit, I fail miserably because I've got PTSD. And I'll be honest, I had a lot of nightmares because of this and other things going on in my life. But at the end of the day, I get through it. I heal it and I try my best. And that's all I can hope and pray that you do too. So for anyone watching this, how do we deal with cyber bullies? First one is we don't give them their energy. Don't retaliate. Don't create more energy back at them. Okay? Don't reply. But because this guy's made it public, well, is it a guy? It could be a girl. It, did this person have to do it publicly to get my trigger response? Why do you think it's taken me two days to get there? Because I don't do knee-jerk reactions. And I analyze. And this guy, under my own research and experience of the studying that I've done in psychology, even though I'm not qualified as a psychologist, this guy has a lot of healing to do within themselves. So therefore, I'm not going to hate you, Wayne Blair. I'm not going to retaliate. What I send you today is the hope and the love of the universe where you create a better life for yourself, where you start to heal your own self-worth, self-love. Read my bloody books. It's all in there. How to create a better energetic field around you. How to heal your past physical and mental conditions. And the best way not to deal with trolls and stalkers is when we don't reply at all. So what do you think I did with, Blair, with Wayne Blair? I blocked him. So he can't, chat, he can't comment again under that name. So if he is the stalker I had last year, he'll probably create a new account. Then I'll have to block him again. But it just shows. Some people, guys, we can't help them. The only people we can help is ourselves. I hope and pray you're all trying to do your best. Take an example out of this guy's lead. Why did he... Ask yourself some questions. Why did he need so much information about me? Why is he judging me? Why is he accusing me? Most of all, why is he belittling me by trying to bring my own health conditions into who I am when I'm trying to be my best version and helping everybody else be theirs as well.
come on, guys, think about what he said. Who's got the real issues here? And the best way to go about it is when we don't respond. And that's what I've done. I've blocked, so I can't deal with this again. The only reason why I'm here today is to give you a heads up that there's some nasty people out there and all they want to do is make others feel bad too. Don't respond. Deal with it on our inside and heal. Love you all. Talk soon. Bye.